Funeral services were held this afternoon for Tyree Nichols, the man who died after a beating by Memphis police. We've seen some fallout already. Officers fired, other officers facing criminal charges, but it could go even further. W A T six on your side, legal analyst Greg Isaacs joining me right now. Greg, as always, thanks a lot for coming in. Bo, it's good to be here. Uh, obviously, this is a topic front and center all across the country right now. Uh, let's talk about the potential spillover into other cases from what we're seeing play out here involving Tyree Nichols. Could this now be used for grounds of, for appeal? Bo, it, it can't be said enough that this conduct uh, by those Memphis police officers was deplorable and inhumane. But let's talk about uh, unintended consequences. Uh, obviously, they're, they're fired. They're charged with second-degree murder. Uh, but what you're going to do uh, if you're the defense bar in Memphis or you're somebody uh, that's in the Department of Corrections, every case those, officer touch, those officers right. touched is going to be under review because the hallmark of the criminal justice system is credibility. Uh, juries make determinations of credibility. Judges make findings whether witnesses are credible. And on those tapes, you hear the officers uh, concocting a story. He grabbed for my gun. He was on drugs. He tried to run. There was a police report that had a false narrative. So what you're going to do is they're going to put uh, that department under a Hubble telescope and anyone that that the officers uh, touched, mm -hmm. beat, arrested uh, with any degree of force uh, are going to be subject to uh, scrutiny once again. Yeah, I was going to say, they're going to go back and look at all of these and go through every case with a fine-tooth comb, it seems right. like. Right, and then parallel civil litigation. Now, mm -hmm. uh, Bo, I think this civil case by the family um, of, of Tyree will never see the light of day. It's, it's going to be settled, and I predict settled uh, very quickly. But other cases where uh, there are allegations of excessive force with these officers, those are going to be looked at. So uh, not only are these officers and their conduct, four of the five have been reprimanded before, uh, going to be under fire for this conduct, but every case that they've touched. Yeah. Hey, real quick, let me ask you this, because this was the Scorpion unit, and it has come under a, a microscope as well. It's now been disbanded there in Memphis. What does this mean for special teams like that? Well, this, this was called hot spot policing. What you do is you get task force, forces that concentrate on areas that are high crime, but the problem is it's, it's high risk, high reward. Uh, you get people in plain clothes, they, they get uh, where they infiltrate the community, and basically what they do is throw probable cause out the window. Uh, we saw it in New York under Rudy Giuliani where they're profiling people, stop and frisk. Uh, these type of, of, of police tactics uh, start out with a bang, just like the Scorpion unit. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of arrests uh, sure. praised by the mayor. Uh, but then what happens is they police with impunity. What that means is they feel uh, that they're the law and that they are above the law. But what's interesting about that video, mm -hmm. um, the, the poll cam was, was really right. what captured the conduct. But throughout the, the, the conduct, the deplorable, inhumane beating, they had their body cams on. Mm -hmm. they, they were doing this knowing they were recorded. So that goes to show you the culture of the special units uh, that it creates. All right. And we're going to stop right there. Greg, as always, we appreciate you coming in. Bo, good to be here.